here I am today with my latest Stitch Fix box. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place. Um, I do unboxings, I do hauls, I've done a little teeny bit of a decoration just lately. Um, I try all sorts of things but mostly I do it while I'm having fun. So if you like that kind of thing please do give me a thumbs up, yes. <laughs> Click subscribe and leave me a comment. God, you'd think I'd be better at that by now, wouldn't you? Anyway, so Stitch Fix came. Now, it's actually been here over a week, but I was otherwise engaged. You notice the nails have gone again, because um, I'm starting on mums, and there's just no point. They ping off all over the place when you're painting and, and so on. Anyway, sorry, off subject. Um, yeah, it's been here about a week, so I've had to get on with it today, and I am excited to see what's in, because I've actually managed to stop myself from having a peek which I normally do. But anyway, here we go. Now, as you may know, Stitch Fix is the easier one of the two companies that we have available in the UK, which is the Kiro and Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is easier because they use the Royal Mail. <laughs> It makes everything so, so, so much easier. Whereas the Kiro used DPD, which has caused a lot of problems lately. Um, you pay 10 pounds for a box. You can have that box once, you can have it as often as you like. They curate five items inside for you. You can specify what you want. If you're looking for bottoms or a jacket or a coat um, and they will send you five things for that 10 pounds. You then have a look at them. If you choose something, the £10 comes off what you've chosen. If you choose to have them all, I believe it's a 20% discount. I will double check that. So sometimes people are lucky and they choose to keep all five because it makes such good uh, sense money-wise. I've never had that joy. <laughs> I'm living in hope. So in the box, then you get an envelope. Um, inside that envelope is the sticky label with the address on because anything you don't want goes straight back in the box. This gets stuck on the top, straight to the post office. It could not be easier. You then have a uh, blue green, what do you call that, duck egg? I'm not sure. <laughs> this has the list of items and the prices. I never look at it because I know it'll put me off. And then you have an oh hello. Now this oh hello has pictures of the items and how they suggest you would style the items and then you have a note from the stylist i had emily last time oh i've got emily again i'm going to put my glasses on it's too small um hi fawn welcome back for fix 14 i hope this box of goodies finds you well and as always i welcome your thoughts once you've had a try on at home your feedback on the proof selection i sent over to you would have been so appreciated i didn't do it i was so annoyed there was nothing in the proof selection that i liked and i was just like oh wow so i should have put some comments but i didn't um, it really helps me to get to know you better and if there's anything specific you're looking for at the moment. So she's gone back to the drawing board and found me some new pieces that I hope offer you a fun wardrobe refresh just in time for spring. Now I love that idea. I'm actually happy that she's done that. Gone back to the drawing board and found me some new things. So that's all I'm going to read of it. There is more but it tells you about the items. Then inside, uh, let me see. Oh, you have one of those. Building a look, new look, you'll want these essential items. And a bundle. In America, they call it a burrito. <laughs> We're not so much on burritos, are we? But there we go. Oh, nice colour there. Right, let's have a look. It's all wrapped in this brown. I was going to say craft paper, but it's not. It's thicker than craft. Right, colours, colours, colours. This is, 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 is. Oh, this is a dress. Now, this actually looks promising. This is a dress, very floral. I think I like it. It has got, I would say, a three quarter sleeve with an elasticated cuff. It is v necked, which is my preferred choice. It has an elasticated waist, and I would say it's about knee length quite excited to try that i love a comfy casual sort of jersey stretchy dress in fact i'm wearing one today <laughs> then we have what is this oh oh a very nice blouse oh you know me in black i've got so much though but i really do like this blouse um short sleeved v-necked it's got buttons are they real no I, oh no yes they are they are real buttons i was hoping they weren't and they were just decoration because i always end up sort of them tugging a bit 
it's got a drawstring waist on it it's cotton oh i didn't tell you who that dress was by did i i'll go back to it in a second this is by editor's cut this is by editor's cut and it's a size 18 um i really like it i am worried about the boobage but i really like it so the dress was from because i didn't tell you and et and it is a size 18. okay now we've got what's this oh i think it's another dress oh and i like it it's very like that red one i fell in love with it's a navy stretchy dress it's ribbed does it have pocket no pockets Ugh. it's got buttons pretty brown buttons all the way down are they real they are not real this time it is sewn shut very very simple t-shirt dress slight flare to the skirt i really like that guys i am willing to bet i look disgusting in it but i really like it and it is by Andette as well. Ooh, then we have, or I have, a pair of jeans by Editor's Cut. Oh, they're nice and light. They're sort of light cottony jeans. What does it say about them? Do they have a name? They're called Sam and they're a straight leg jean in indigo. Good amount of stretch. I like those. They are a very basic, very simple, looks really comfy, I hope, pair of jeans. I'm impressed with this. I'm impressed with Emily, I have to say. Then last but not least is a pair of trousers. Now these are full on, goodness me. These are very bright, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. They're a teal colour, I would say, with a little black can you see a little pattern black pattern on it um is that a pocket yeah it has zip pockets you know flat fronted zip pockets just here um and i think they're just a pull-on like a jegging or a legging would be but they're they're a trouser um i actually quite like them and i think with a black top could look amazing but it's whether with this bodacious body of mine <laughs> i end up looking like a a green sausage in a skin but well done emily absolutely love and this is with no feedback because i was feeling a bit fed up <laughs> so here we go let's try them on and be kind ladies although you're always kind you are always kind <laughs> In fact, sometimes you're too dang kind. <laughs> See you in a minute. I thought I'd start with the dress. Why not? And do you know what, ladies? I think I really like it. It's so comfortable. Let's just get that out there now. I mean, look at this. So comfortable. It has pockets, which I hadn't noticed when I was showing it to you. I like the length of it. It's just on the knee. It's respectable. It's, you know, I like the sleeves. And I like the little bit, little bit of puffiness. I can't do too much because I'm broad in the beam. So if there's too much puff here, I tend to look like an all-in wrestler or a, an American footballer. But that's got just enough for it to be soft. Love, love, love the V. I think the V is great. Let's do a circle. Remember, never quite as good on the back because I am carrying weight that I shouldn't be. But it is not so horrific on the back that I think to myself... I couldn't wear that in public. You know what I mean? I think I really like this. It's bright, but it's spring summer, isn't it? I'll come in. I want you to see the pattern. I think it helps. The pattern helps disguise the fact that I am so top heavy. Um, the, the puffy sleeves, how kind to the tops of my arms, which at the moment, I am just so unhappy with, but it's my fault. I've gained too much weight. I think that I really like this. And it's just, oh gosh, girls, so comfortable. Next up, the blouse and jeans. These jeans are so comfortable, it's insane. Jeans are not the most flattering thing on me at the moment because I carry my weight on my stomach. So can you see? Well, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying, can you see? You'd have to be blind not to. But my stomach sticks out a lot. When I gain weight, that's where it goes. Um, but oh my goodness, ladies, 
comfortable. They're very soft. They're like a jean that you've worn and worn and worn and worn and worn, and they, you know, they've really become almost sort of buttery on your body. I don't like saying that. That sounds so shishi, buttery. But you know what I mean. So soft. Um, they are straight legs, so there is room in them. Um, I think they're not bad over the bum. They're not as bad as those ones the other week where the pocket was down here. So I think they're not bad. And jeans are just not particularly kind to a woman with my figure. Um, but, well, when she's carrying this kind of weight anyway. But I really do like them. It will depend on the price, but these are so comfortable. I'm so impressed. The length is great. I like the sort of warning feature to them. They're not killing me around the waist. There's room. Um, these are fabulous fat jeans, you know. <laughs> if I lose some weight, they'll become baggier. I don't know that that would necessarily be a bad thing, actually, for them to be baggier around here. I don't know. I've been willing to hear from you guys, or would like to hear from you guys, whether you think if I was to lose some weight and these became a bit baggy here, would it look odd? Because it would be great if these could be sort of my... Yeah, my baggy jeans, my comfy jeans, my down day jeans. But I need your opinions. Now, the blouse. I really like it, but it's high-waisted, or at least it's high-waisted on me, which I think is because of the size here. It pulls the whole top up. I think that's meant to be more, I just bend forward, I think that's meant to be more there, but it's not, it's quite high on me. It's a bit tight on me, but I do like it. I'll give you a spin. It looks awful on the back. Look at it, straining. Blech. But this would be a great blouse when I took a bit of weight off, you know, because the looser this is, the better. So I'm not anti the blouse. I love the length of the sleeve. I like the little peplum. Yes, peplum or pelmet. No, peplum. <laughs> effects around here um i love the v-neck as i thought the buttons are pulling can you see i mean luckily they've put a big piece of black fabric in behind because otherwise you'd be able to see through to flesh um so this is definitely a slim into it top and the reason i'm sort of thinking about it is because so far i love the jeans and i love the dress if this was the only problem in this box would I be happy to keep the whole lot? And I think I might, you know. It's not bad, and I can see that it would look a lot better. As the boobs go down, the top would come down. It would all improve. So, yeah, and it is a lovely cotton. Really nice. Okay, okay. The train just came off the rails. <laughs> look at these. They look terrible on me. They're so, I mean, it's my figure. They're so tight over here. They are just literally so cruel. They want to give me, well, probably, possibly, I hope they're not a camel's toe all the time, which I really couldn't bear. I just, uh, um, I like them. Don't get me wrong. If I was a size 12, I think I might even love them. But I'm not, and I never will be a 12. I'm always going to have an issue with carrying too much here. Even when I get down to 16, I still have a lap buddy, let's be honest. Um, and am I ever going to get rid of my lap buddy completely? Probably not. Um, I don't like the fabric they're made from. They've got a feel of sort of, um, oh, how would I put it? You know the trousers, I'm going to say old ladies, and I am an old lady, but you know the trousers that were really popular at one time with older ladies um i think were they called slimmer or something they were called s l i m m a they've got that very artificial feel to them i'm, I'm mad letting you see me like this i looked in the mirror i wanted to die but you know here we go so i'll turn around i mean i think the bum looks nice in them but unfortunately i can't enter every room bum first <laughs> sooner or later people have got to see this uh, da, da. so uh yeah there's no way it's a five for five this time because that's just they're shocking on me but let's have a look at 
the last item. I think this is the navy version of the red one that I fell in love with that day. And the red balls and st I still think about that dress, ladies. Um, it's a nice enough dress. It's a t-shirt dress. I like the scoop neck. Love the wooden buttons. I, rem I remember loving that about it in the red too. Like the fact that it's got sleeves. The waist is more or less where a waist should be, which is always exciting because I am long bodied. And it's not massively overplaying my stomach. Um, I mean, if I turn sideways, of course you can see, but you know, that's going to be there whatever I wear. From the back, never as kind. You can see where my bra grips me and then the fat comes out the bottom of the bra. It's clinging over the bum. It's an okay dress. When I saw it in the red, the colour had me. But if I wouldn't buy it in the red, I'm not going to buy it in the navy. But it's so close. <laughs> it's so close to something that I would really, really like. I think this is a great dress. And if you don't have the, the figure problems that I do, this is really nice. The scoop is just enough and no more. It just, it's a great dress. It is a great, great dress. Just not a great dress for this, um, yeah, bodacious is my word of the day. A bodacious babe. <laughs> What's that song? Oh no, I won't do a song. I nearly did a song. I nearly did a song. I'm not going to. <laughs> so let's go back and do a quick review. So there we go. That was the try on. I hope I haven't put you off your breakfast. I hope you weren't eating at the time. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I feel a bit poo today. I had my second COVID vaccination yesterday and it's brought on a little bit just a little bit of the sniffles a bit of a headache so um yeah i thought i'm gonna do this and have a laugh with my girls because my girls are gonna laugh with me so let's get to it we'll start with what i think is maybe the biggest disappointment i think is the navy dress i really like this this is editor's cut i think i told you it was an 18 yes it's an 18 it's called the bridget button down rib dress it's a mini they're classing it as it comes to just on the knee and I really like it, but it doesn't like me. So, um, the Editor's Cut Brigitte Button Down Rib Dress Mini Navy, size 18, £39. That's a good price for that, but it's not for me. Next is the trousers. Now, I forgot even to tell you who they were by. They're by a company called Margaret M. They're a slimming pant. Well, they didn't slim me, they just, <laughs> they just squeezed all my fat and made me look even fatter, I think. Um, Margaret M Slimming Pan. Okay, these are in a blue, they're calling it. They're calling it, it's the Sylvie trouser for anybody that does want them. These are a size large and they're £69. That's a lot of money for those. But, you know, if you are a size 12 or a 14 and you've just got a little bit of jibble to the tummy, I think these could look absolutely fabulous. They're just, again, not right on me. <laughs> so that's £69 I won't be spending. Now the blouse. I really liked this blouse. I wished it had fitted. I would have been very tempted to keep it. And if it had been a 5 for 5, I would have happily kept it to slim into. But I'm not going to do it you know, just because. So this is by Editor's Cut again. I'm getting a lot of Editor's Cut, aren't I? Editor's Cut, it's called the Diane Flute Sleeve Button Front Blouse in a black, size 18. Um, and it's 36 pounds, which for Stitch Fix is very good. And I have to say, the quality of the fabric is really there. And it is a blouse that has got a lot of detail to it. So you can actually see where the 36 pounds was. Not like a t-shirt that's 36 pound and you just think what <laughs> but it is a little too small i'm more concerned about the height the, the waist being too high on me than than the tightness across the tartars so it's going to go back but then we're down to my two the jeans the editor's cut jeans these have to be the most comfortable jeans i think i've put on in forever um i mean a lot of that will be to do with the fact that i'm overweight so when i put my other jeans on i'm kind of like but they are so, so super soft. So again, these are editor's cut. They're called the Sam straight leg jean. I liked them a lot. These were an 18 and these are 55. Now, if I was gonna stay this size, if I planned on not losing any weight, I'd be all over them. 
but I do plan on losing a bit of weight. Do you think, ladies, that they will look as good when they're sort of slightly baggier? Mmm, I really, really like them. But 55 is a lot without my 20% discount. So I really, really need your advice, guys, because, yeah, I like them. But 55, mmm. Okay, these are going on my maybe pile. 55. Oh, if only there were 35. Then the dress. I really like this. This was comfort itself. My only reservation is the colours. Now I'm wearing patterns today, but it's black and brown and this one is more vibrant. But spring, summer, do you think? Um, I mean, I love the sleeves. They were so kind over this big, expansive arm. Oh, I am really, really tempted by this one, ladies. This one I really like. This one is by, hmm, oh, and et. And it's called Summer Mini Printed Long Sleeve Dress. It wasn't long on me. It came to my elbows. Long Sleeve Dress. They're calling it black. Well, I suppose there is black in the background. Um, it was an 18 and it's 45. I think that's definitely staying. Unless you guys look at it and go, oh no, oh no, no don't. I think this will definitely be a winner with me. 45 pounds. I've already paid 10 pounds for the box, so it makes it an additional 35 to have it. Um, yeah, I really, really liked it. I think the quality is there. It has pockets. It has everything I look for. It's just, I'm questioning the color of the pattern. You'll have to tell me. Okay, so that one I'm, is staying. Jeans, maybe. So let's do the final sums. Okay, so the whole lot, the whole box came to £244. It is a 20% discount, which would have taken £48.80 off, um, which would have made that dress free. It would have been like buy four, get the dress free. Um, obviously, I then um, paid £10 to be styled, and that would come off as well. So if I wanted to keep all of these things, it would come to £185.20. Which sounds like a lot, but that's two dresses, a pair of jeans, a pair of trousers, and a blouse. I mean, with a few little accessories, if they all fitted, with a few little accessories, that would be a week's holiday, really, because you can mix and match and play with it all. So, um, that's a good price, I think, 185 20 I know people say Stitch Fix is expensive, and it is more expensive than some others, but I, I still think that was a really good price. So, yeah, just tell me. The colours on this, although I really think I may keep it regardless of what you guys say. And would these still work if I wore them as baggy sort of, I used to call them boyfriend jeans. I don't know if that's the right terminology for them, but when they're meant to be slightly baggy because they are lush. So that's it, guys. <laughs> that was my latest stitch, blah, 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 stitch fix. And I think Emily's done an absolutely splendid job. That, you know, there was nothing in there that made me go, oh, my Lord. Whereas I was getting that to begin with, wasn't I? So, um... Yeah, there we go. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all happy. I hope you have a lovely weekend. It's Saturday here. And, um, well, it'll be Saturday. No, it won't be Saturday, wherever you are, because I don't know when I'll put this up. I'll try and put it up today. <laughs> oh, dear. These pills, not pills. What am I like? This injection. I think it's killed off a few more brain cells. <laughs> anyway, there we go. I'm off. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. Okay, bye, guys.